We hope this short video will be a good adjunct to the other information that's out there about recycling symbols. We're going to explain how the recycling symbols tie into different polymers and where polymers come from. We're not going to do this in necessarily linear order from one to seven, but one at a time. Let's start with polystyrene. Polystyrene is made from styrene monomer, which is strung together to make polystyrene the polymer. Here are a few examples of polystyrene. Foamed polystyrene, polystyrene cups, and lids for fast food soda. Polypropylene is everywhere. I don't know if you can see the symbol, but that's it right there, the number five for polypropylene. It's used in snack foods and in lots of fast foods. Recycling symbol number three is PVC or polyvinyl chloride. Polyvinyl chloride starts with what's called VCM for short, or vinyl chloride monomer. I don't have all day to go into the ubiquitous number of polyvinyl chloride examples that are around us, but it is the lowest recycled rate of any polymer. Next, we're going to talk about ethylenes, starting with low-density polyethylene. Polyethylene is made by polymerizing ethylene into polyethylene. This is not polystyrene. This is injection molded low density polyethylene. This bubble wrap is polyethylene as well, low density. So is the shrink film and so is this bread bag. Recycling symbol number two is high density polyethylene. I won't bore you with the exact chemical definition of it, but high density is everywhere. You can find it in anything from milk crates to motor oil bottles, obviously milk bottles. Unfortunately, the recyclers don't want to take these high density polyethylene shopping bags. Recycling symbol number one polyethylene terephthalate is a close cousin to recycling symbols two and four, high density and low density polyethylenes. PET is unique in that it is the first polymer which has been approved for prolonged and direct food contact after it has been recycled. Actually, to clarify it, polyethylene terephthalate is repolymerized. You end up with the basic polymer and water. It's so pure you can actually reuse it for some medical applications. Here are some examples. The most common is PET for bottled water. It's used for thermoform trays, such as these. These pickles, which are an inner pack, we'll talk more about those in a while and jars. Looks very nice, like a glass jar, won't break. Bottled water is the most common use for, the, for polyethylene terephthalate. Fun fact is that two-thirds of these bottles will not be recycled. They will be thrown out as litter or thrown into the landfill. Finally, we have the catch-all term number seven, which is other. These are the problem children. This is what happens when you marry two or three different polymers together. This, the inner packs of these are a lamination of polyethylene to PET. There's also a buried print along with adhesive. Anything can be recycled, but there's really not a whole lot of uses for this once you discard it. 
This ketchup bottle has about seven layers in it, one of which is a barrier to keep it fresh. If people don't mark what the products are, you don't know what they are. Hopefully, when the recycler gets it, he'll be able to figure out what it is by virtue of the IR wavelength and figure out how to recycle it. Items such as this also have seven to nine layers. And if you'll notice, they never say that it's a seven or what's in it. They just don't really publicize it. Flexible laminations also have the same problem. You've got a lot of things going on here. You've, you've got more buried print, multiple layers. You've got two different kinds of polyethylene. You have a kind of polyethylene that you use for the sealant layer and a different kind of polyethylene for the zipper. It's basically a potpourri. These are the things that the recyclers really don't want. You can give it to them for free, but it's going to take them 15 to 20 cents a pound to dispose of them properly in a landfill or ship them to China. This banner is another example of recycling symbol number seven. What we have is PVC film, which has been printed on with a high density polyethylene scrim reinforcement. Two different polymers married together.